He was a Vietnam amputee. Listen to this American soldier's plea. He speaks with an appeal to you and me. He speaks with an appeal to you and me. I wish that people knew how to love me, but they really don't seem to know how. Because if they really knew how to love me, they'd look instead of turning away and acting like love. We should have looked at his face, those eager eyes, hungry to share his thoughts about life. But instead, we noticed that he could not rise. So we stared at his body, reminding him of the war and his strife. Listen to this soldier's plea. I wish that people knew how to love me, but they really don't seem to know how. Because if they really knew how to love me, they'd listen instead of stuffing my mouth with not a central child. We discouraged his speaking straight out. We seemed afraid of hearing his truth, cause we felt we didn't want this soldier's truth to sprout. He might have uncovered our lack of guilt as being uncouth. Listen to this soldier's plea. I wish that people knew how to love me, but they really don't seem to know how. Cause if they really knew how to love me, that touch me instead of shrinking away and wrinkling that brow. If we had touched his hand, a limb that was whole, we would not have thought of him as a freak. Sure, his legs were blown off, but his heart, mind, and soul would have touched us to reach our own hidden kindliness streak. Listen to this soldier's plea. I wish that people knew how to love me. They really don't seem to know how. Cause if they really knew how to love me, they'd help me instead of pressing the button and saying they don't know how. If we learned to help his morale to fulfill, and then we would have all been involved in the caring. But so much of our training has been spent for the kill. Our know-how has been neglected in the, the skill of human sharing. Listen to this soldier's plea. I wish that people knew how to love me, but they really don't seem to know how. Because if they really knew how to love me, they'd talk instead of fighting it out in a battlefield row. Our soldier died hoping that Earth's people will learn to love, really love, and not just a counterfeit facsimile thereof so that all through our lives, as he wished it to be, we'd have a peace life, world's togetherness, that he never did see. Let us vow that this soldier's plea be our goal, that his last will and testament become part of our soul, in honor of this courageous and wise amputee. Let no one again ever have to say, I wish that people 